is before the battle of Badr erupted. Our beloved sallallahu alayhi wasallam is now, imagine, imagine lining up the lines, making sure that his men are standing straight. And with him was a snake. And then he came across a companion called Sawad ibn Ghaziyyah. Sawad ibn Ghaziyyah had a bit of a belly going on. And so he prodded him because he was stepping a little bit out of line. He prodded him, he said to him, Istawi ya Ghazal, Istawi ya Sawad, stand in line, O Sawad. Sawad said, Messenger of Allah, you, you, you've hurt me. That hurt. And Allah Almighty has sent you, has sent you with truth and justice, so allow me to prod you back. Surely this is not the appropriate time to seek revenge. Leave it until after war, right? No, Sawad had a plan. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Imam of Justice, stood in front of Sawad and he said, yes, of course. And he raised his garment, he said, prod me back. He uncovered his belly, he said, prod me back. And then Sawad pounced onto the body of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and hugged him very tightly and kissed him in the middle of his torso. He said, Sawad, what made you do that? He said, Ya Rasulullah, he said, Ya Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You see the situation that we're in. It's likely that we're not going to ever return home to our families. And so I wanted the last thing that I experienced from this life, contact with your blessed body. SubhanAllah. Who thinks of that? What would Ali be thinking of shortly before war? I may not have been thinking of that. But these were the men and women who loved the Messenger. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Subhanallah al -Azim. And then after the war. And this is after the Battle of Uhud now, a different battle. And this is the third scenario I wanted to share with you. To show you that it wasn't just the men who loved him alayhi salatu wasalam, unconditionally, but it was the women as well. And they have amazing stories in this department. A woman from the tribe of Dinar, Ibn Hisham narrates, was given the news that her husband had been killed after Uhud. And she said, what happened to the Prophet of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? They said to her, we are very sorry to tell you that your brother has also been slain. She said, what happened to the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? They said to her, forgive us for giving you this heavy news on this day, your father has been slain. She said, what happened to the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? They said, Alhamdulillah, he is well. She said, no, no, point him out. Point him out to me so that I can see him with my own eyes. They said, look over there, over there, can you see him? She looked, and then when she saw him, they heard her mutter some words to herself. What did she say? She said, Kullu musibatin ba'da kajalal. She said, every calamity in life is small so long as you are okay.